Okay, hey, C. Lindelof videos. Solving logarithmic functions, the rules. So here's what we have here, and it looks like a mess, but it's going to be okay, I promise. Uh, it says here, we're supposed to solve for x. So we have log base b of x is equal to 2 thirds log base b of 8 plus 1 half log base b of 9 minus log base b of 6. First thing I'm going to do is use some rules, and there are six primary rules that you have to know. And if you don't know them right now, you, that's where I would start. But let's go back and take a look at this quickly. So this is what I'm doing. I'm just going to start with this piece by piece. If you remember, if you have a number, a coefficient in front of a log, you can roll it up as an exponent. So I'm going to take this 2 thirds right here and I'm going to put it up here as an exponent. So now we have 8 to the thir 2 thirds power. So look, I'm going to write back here log base b and then I'm going to evaluate 8 to the 2 thirds power. So 8 to the 2 thirds power is 8 to the 1 3rd power, I'm just going to use the bottom part right now, which means the which means the cube root, the cube root of 8, right? And you're saying, what about this 2? Well, this 2 is the top part, and it goes here. So what's the cube root of 8? Is 2, right? 2 times 2 times 2 is 8, so the cube root of 8 is 2. So I'm just evaluating that up here, is 2. Then 2 squared is 4, so all I did was some arithmetic here, right? I'm going to do exactly the same thing here. This 1 half right here is going to roll back up here and it's going to show up as a 1 half power, right? That's, I think, like rule number 6 of exponents, I mean of uh, logarithms, right? So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to evaluate that. I'm going to say this 9 is this one and it's to the 1 half power. Remember that when you have, uh, when, when you have a rational, wow, I couldn't find it. When you find it, have a rational exponent, it turns into a root, right? A radical. So this is actually translates to square root 9, which happens to be 3, right? So we have log base b. I evaluated this up here and came up with a number 3, right? I'm just going to move on here. There's nothing I can do with this. So I'm just going to leave this here just for a second. It clears itself up in a minute. Log base b of 6, right? One of the first rules of logarithms says that when you have same base, we have base b here, we have base b here, if we have same base separated by a by a plus sign, we can multiply the arguments. Here we have an argument of 4, here we have an argument of 3. It helps us combine the logarithm. So we get log base b, right? We did check to make sure they had the same base, and they do. And then 4 times 3 is 12. I'm just applying rules of logarithms now. We good? Minus log base b of 6. Just working our way through this, using the rules left to right. Now, is either the second or third rule of logarithms say that if we have same base logarithms, and we do, separated by a subtraction sign or a negative sign, we take that as division, and then we're allowed to divide the first argument by the second argument. That gives us log base b of 12 divided by 6 is 2, right? Now, if you don't mind, I'm going to go all the way back up to the top and chase down the beginning argument that I was solving for, right? So I'm going to bring that thing all the way down here and say log base b of x. So the question is, what value of x makes these identical, right? So if I put a 2 in here, if x was 2, they'd be identical, and, an x, and that would be our answer, right? So we have x equals 2. Why? Because we want this and this to match. So x equals 2. It's a pain, and I, and I kind of get that. If you memorize the rules and practice with the rules, it's going to get better. If you just try to grind through it without memorizing those rules, as smart as you are, it's going to be really difficult for even you. So I suggest you memorize the rules. Hey, if you have questions or comments, please let me know. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed, please do. I appreciate it.